Hello, good afternoon everyone. This is my first video on your skill lab from United Kingdom. Um, all of you who are watching me, you know that I've ran the first a &E skill lab in Bangladesh at United Hospital for two years. And after that I moved as a uh, specialist in emergency medicine in United Kingdom. And I do miss teaching, I love to teach. I've been teaching for two years. I train hundreds, lots of nurses and doctors and train them on the life-saving skills, which makes a big difference. So today I've just, this is my first video again. I just want to talk about three basic things. First of all, why emergency medicine? Okay, second, what kind of knowledge or do I need? For emergency medicine third what skill sets do you need to be an emergency physician so let's talk about why emergency medicine for me I love it I've been chasing it forever since third year, third year of medical school I've been the first question in my head is <clears throat> you know what specialty should I choose so I think I believe everyone who is starting the clinical rotation in third year of medical school have the same question. So somebody might choose, okay, medicine. So, so to me, I was like, I like everything. You know, I, I would like to see all special. I don't want to miss out medical patient while I'm doing surgery or surgical patient while I'm doing medicine. I don't want to miss pediatric. I like trauma as well. Gynecology, fine. So for me, it, it was like a perfect match to find emergency medicine as a specialty when we can see as a vision all specialties every day all the time I don't need to specialize in one single specialty but I do know the life-saving skill of that particular specialty that makes it on the top of my list I loved it and for that I had to pay a long fee I mean I've been chasing emergency medicine in three different continents Bangladesh, United States, now I'm in the UK. So it's been a quite a while. And <clears throat> I did have level one emergency medicine experience from Louisiana State University. I was used to work as a research physician, but I've seen the best. It's very wonderful in the United States and North America. It's still developing in the rest of the world. UK is developing is still new in this country India is really doing it good so for anyone wants to make a career in emergency medicine I would suggest first have you ever worked in emergency department no that how do you know this is your specialty how the, the question is it's not how you make a career is why so if you ask the question why do I need emergency medicine that is a that is there's a basic question that you should ask yourself. Many people ask me, oh, I work in ITU, I work in those specialty, other specialty, can I make a career in emergency medicine? I said, oh, oh of course, anyone can make a career in emergency medicine. The question is, why? Are you gonna like it at the end? It's a lot of work, a lot of stress, a lot of skills, a lot of knowledges. Are you that patient? Are you that eager to make these changes? So, Emergency medicine is one of the top specialty in the North America. In UK, it's not that top. It's just beginning to get you know get more popular in the future. Bangladesh is not existent. We need it. We need people to get trained, go back to Bangladesh, and serve the people, teach everyone, which I'm planning very soon. I would like to go back and teach everyone, like a year skill lab that I used to run at the United States. Sorry, in Bangladesh. Next thing is what kind of um, knowledge or knowledge do I need? Well, we need the knowledge of emergency medicine. It's not just medicine. Davidson Love Bailey surgery is not enough for emergency medicine. We need textbooks on emergency medicine, books on emergency medicine like Tintinalis, Rosen's. Have you ever heard about this book? Have you ever seen this book before? If you don't, you should go and check. Um, there are a couple of other um, exam preparation uh, study materials, UK-based, that I actually uh, think is still available in Bangladesh. It's 
you know, FR Chem exams, FR Chem primary, intermediate, and final exams. All these books, I think, now are available in Bangladesh um, as a copy. Uh, and and I, I did uh, leave some copies of those books at United Hospital before I leave the hospital. Anyway, so there are some exam books, there are some textbooks to learn. What skill sets do I not need to know uh, on emergency medicine? What skill set? Well, anything that can save life. Do you know intubation? Do you know um, ABG, venous line, central line, uh, joint manipulation? Can you diagnose the ectopic pregnancy, sepsis? Do you know stroke? How to diagnose the stroke? Any trauma? Do you have a good suturing skills? Can you manage trauma? Are you trained in ACLS, ATLS, BLS, and APLS? So all these skills, which are regularly changing and updated, emergency medicine is is a very dynamic subject. It changes every day. Protocols been changing every day. So the purpose for me to initiate these videos is to guide you from United Kingdom in the right direction. I know in United, in, when I was in Bangladesh, I have, my, have, I have few audiences only from United Hospital. Now, I think I have more wider audience who can ask me questions. I, I will be able to answer and teach you in the next video. So, I, I will start from the basic science, for example, that covers African primary exam, and from that basic sense, I will go through intermediate and and uh, uh, MR Kimoski or in the real life. So from basic science to real life patient management, showing you the exact ways, some tips. That's my goal. And then if you feel like you want to know something more, you can always you can always um, comment or uh, email me or just put a note on the Facebook EMBD site or uh, I'll put it on the YouTube so okay so it's good to meet you again and please uh, wait for my next video is coming up soon thank you